What's up, my dude? It's Demi, and tonight we are in Disney's Hollywood Studios because we are dining at Sci-Fi Dine-In. This is one of the most unique and incredibly themed dining experiences in all of Walt Disney World. Here you will have American fair food, but you will be dining in a car, watching on a big movie screen, sci-fi clips from 1950 sci-fi movies to make you feel like you're at the drive-in. I have not been here since December 2019, before the closures and before I started this channel. So this is the only restaurant in Hollywood Studios that I have not recorded for the channel. So I am super excited to get back in there and bring you guys along with me. So now let's do it. Let's do Sci-Fi Dine-In and let's go get into some hijinks. Sci-Fi Dine-In is located in between ABC Commissary and Baseline Tap House. This is American Fair Dining and reservations are required. There is a walk-up list, but I always recommend making a reservation. Here's the little lobby of Sci-Fi Dine-In before you walk into the main room. We have some movie posters on the wall, teenagers from outer space, battle in outer space, the day the Earth stood still, flight to Mars, spaceways, and the War of the Worlds. They have some coming soon to the drive-in posters. Nerve-shattering terror, the alligator people, the amazing colossal man, the giant Gila monster. Also a reminder to please dim your headlights, but then as you leave, remember to turn on your headlights. We also have Plan 9 from Outer Space, Horror at the Beach Party, and Destination Moon in Technicolor. I was taken right into my seat because they were backed up and they just wanted to get us all in. And wow, I forgot how amazing it is in here and how big it is. So we are under the stars in the Hollywood Hills, sitting in our car and watching sci-fi movies. I will say the reason why I have not done this for the channel yet is because like, it could be quiet in here and it's quiet in here because people are listening to the movie. So obviously I want to be as respectful as possible. Not that I have a talk loud talker when I do this, but you know, it's, it, I don't want to ruin the vibe in here because it's so amazing. So there are two different types of cars you can sit in. One is the three row booth. This is where I am sitting. I'm in the middle row between two different parties. So it's not like you get an entire car for your party. Your server is going to bring you a QR code for the menu. Ketchup is on the table already, which is great. And what also is super cool is the speakers are right there next to your car. The other type of car tables they have are car ends and then table and chairs in between and you cannot ask to have one or the other it's all on availability and they will not take requests they also have a few like bench style seating in the back along with some cool posters golden french fries and interstellar taste treat and our desserts are the stars of the universe so the question i get asked all the time about this is is it one movie that's playing no it's not like a whole movie you get to sit through and each reservation is a movie. It's rotating clips of 1950s sci-fi movies. Attack of the 50-foot woman. Incredibly huge, with incredible desires for love and vengeance. <laughs> server for a paper menu they do have these let's take a look at it let's take a look at the non-alcoholic specialties first of all that iridescent sip vibration is no longer here this is an old paper menu from the 50th anniversary they have the meteor which is a coke or sprite served in a souvenir cup with a glow cube and they do milkshakes chocolate vanilla or oreo and yes, non-dairy options are available on request. Let's take a look at the appetizers. We have onion rings, fried dill pickles, spinach and artichoke dip, smoked wings, and black garlic Caesar salad. For our entrees, we have the drive-in barbecue burger, the chicken salad sandwich, the classic American burger, a grilled chicken citrus salad, the feature film burger, which is the burger of the day, and today it's a surf and turf. It's uh, a burger with a crab cake on top. And then they have a pan-seared salmon or chicken pasta, and then pork on pork burger, and the flying saucer impossible burger for my plant-based friends. They do have themed cocktail here, like the magical star cocktail, orbit Oreo, spicy Martian margarita, 
and the Long Island Lunar Tea, plus some wine and sangria and beer and hard cider. Here is my appetizer. I know it is very dark here, but I went for the fried pickles, good portion size, and it comes with a side of ranch and horseradish dipping sauce. Let's dig in. Let's try it plain first. The batter is so, so good and they're so warm. There's like a little heat to the pickles, a little briny kick to it. That's really, really nice. I really want to try it with the dipping sauces. Try the horseradish. That is such an excellent pairing. There's so much great tangy flavor from that horseradish sauce. And then you get the little heat from the pickle. So good. Let's try the ranch though. Also good. It's just ranch, so it's not like anything super spectacular. The horseradish dip is the way to go for sure. This is a great appetizer and very shareable and great batter on the pickles. Yum, yum. It's time for a tasty and refreshing snack. to satisfy your hunger, your thirst, your sweet tooth. So visit our refreshment center now. Let's go! Every time I see that one, Take a letter, Ms. I, my musical theater friends, Gentlemen, you know exactly what I'm about to say. I think of Chris. Here is my entree. I got the drive-in barbecue burger. It's signature blend of beef and house-made seasoning served on a brioche bun and topped with nine-hour smoked pork, bourbon bacon jam, cheddar, lettuce, and barbecue sauce. It, you know, I know it's so dark, but it does still look so good. Let's dig in. Here is the inside of the burger. I know it's so dark, it's like impossible to see, but we have the patty here, I asked for it medium. That looks great. We have the pork on top, barbecue sauce, cheese. Let's dig in. That is so good. They make a good burger here. You get so much flavor from the actual burger. It is really thick and juicy. It has a lot of great flavors coming out of it. That is an excellent just base of a burger. And then you add that really nice pork, so much flavor, and you get the barbecue sauce and cheddar all together. It is so delicious because you have all these wonderful textures because the cheese is so soft and you get the crunch of the lettuce, you get the juiciness of the burger, it all just, it is perfect, it's a perfect barbecue burger, this is excellent. I definitely recommend definitely doing more of like burger sandwiches versus maybe like the pasta, I I don't know, I don't, maybe, if you had a good experience tell me, but when I go to places like this where it's like this is the burger place, I get the burger, you know, because I feel like the entrees are never going to be as good as what they're kind of known for. But wow, that burger is fantastic. That comes with fries. Mm, nice and salty. Whoever salted my fries, I love you. These are great. Um, nice and crispy too. Very potatoey fry. These aren't my favorite cut of fry, but crunchy, salty. Excellent. I mean, can't really beat a burger and watching sci-fi clips. I mean, honestly, this really makes you feel like you're back in time, and it's just so beautiful under the stars. Here is my dessert. I got the Oreo shake. Now you can get this with your meal as well, but I wanted to have it as my dessert. It looks amazing. That's so good. I love an Oreo shake. Oreos are my favorite cookie. The ice cream itself is very, very tasty. I love all the powdered crushed Oreo on top. Perfect ending to this incredibly fun meal. Cheers. Enters the nursery. 
victory in this playful prediction from Budapest. One nurse at a central control panel will be able to manage a whole brigade of babies, and the tykes will spend happily antiseptic infancies untouched by human hands. They'll even be tucked into their cribs by remote control. Oh no, we got a parking violation ticket. That's so cute that they do that on the check. So here is the total before my annual pass holder discount was applied uh, for a shake, appetizer, entree, $44.73. Honestly, not bad for Disney World prices and the food was good. Plus, I mean, you just can't beat this atmosphere. It is just so, it's just so lovely in here. I just want to like spend so much time in here. And it's just so cool. Like you can come like midday and then it just feels like the middle of the night. Um, I'm filming this literally like I'm, I had one like the last reservation. And so it's, it's been night for so long. <laughs> and already it's night again. And when I leave here, it's still gonna be night, so. It's just so beautiful. I just love all the film. I love the setup here. It just, I wish, I wish more things like this was like available outside of Disney World. Like this, this, I always say this restaurant in particular could work so well, like as like, maybe not like a chain, like maybe like a few locations in certain towns. I don't know. It's just, it's so cool. It's so cool. I, I love this. I had such a great time. I'm so glad that we finally came here together on the channel. Oh, it's so cool seeing this place empty at the end of the night. It's so cool. You can see the projector up there. Man, I love this place so much. It's just such a great time. Well, my dudes, that was Sci-Fi Dine-In here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. I just had the best time. This place is so cool. Food is really good too. Like, they didn't skip on the food. I just, I could hang out there forever though. Like, it kind of like makes you like in a time warp thinking that it's like, nighttime forever even though now it is nighttime but you know what I mean like it's <laughs> it's still so cool and I love it and it's just it's it's such a fun environment it's super unique and if you're really into themed restaurants this is definitely something you should put on your must-do list when you come to Walt Disney World so anyway thank you so much for watching if you did like the video please be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and get your bell notification so you don't miss anything that goes on this channel follow me on Instagram at magical hijinks check out the patreon become a patron and get exclusive bonus content Content, bonus lives, access to the Discord, help with trip planning, a free dining guide to Walt Disney World by Disney for Foodies, and so much more. And you'll be helping me to continue bringing you great content like these dining reviews to this channel. And until next time, my dudes, I hope you guys can see my dance very, very soon. Have a bye.